Greetings, Clashers. It is your host, Galadon. Thank you for checking out another very special episode of Clash of Clans Attacks. Let's get right down to it. It is time for the world premiere of The Skeleton Trap. Yes, just like it says, you will be able to ambush and distract unsuspecting foes with a surprise skirmish of short-lived but sneaky skeleton troops. Skeleton traps can be configured to pursue either ground or air troops. So yes, you do have to decide which setting you want it on, ground or air, dependent upon how you want it to defend your village. But they are quite sneaky. Look at that. They only take up one by one space, so you can place them lots of different places. Here is a look at the three levels of the skeleton traps. Level 1 and 2 share the same graphic, and level 3 looks a bit more intimidating. Here at level 1 we can see it spawns two skeletons, those skeletons having the same statistics as the witch's skeletons. Now at level 2 we get three skeletons, and then upgrading all the way to level 3 we get a total of four skeletons. At Town Hall 8 you get two traps upgradable to level 2. At Town Hall 9 those same two traps can go to level 3. And finally at Town Hall 10 you've got three traps that can be level 3 for a total of 12 skeletons that can be spawned onto the battlefield. Now those individual skeletons may be weak, but I certainly think this is going to add a new twist to strategy, both attacking and defending. As we see a level three trap spring into action here, four skeletons with a little skull icon so you can tell them apart from a clan castle troop. Now I think it may be a mistake to ignore these little guys. In this example, we've got the trap set way towards the outside of the village all by itself. In practice, most likely it's going to be set further in, and that precious time that these attacking units have to spend dealing with these skeletons gives all of your defenses time to just rain down on those attacking units. And I'm afraid that P.E.K.K.A.s are going to hate these little guys. With the P.E.K.K.A.'s slow attack and inability to do splash damage, they could end up being the bane of every P.E.K.K.A.'s existence. Now we've seen a couple of ground traps in action. Let's check out an air mode trap as the skeletons come flying out. They go after that balloon being suspended in the air by balloons of their own wildly swinging their swords. They manage to take that balloon down. So here we see how a unit deployed that goes after defenses like a balloon golem giant is going to behave. It's going to ignore those skeletons. They are going to chase it down and go after it until they take it down. Uh, again, they don't do a lot of damage by themselves, but when you start to add them up together, putting two or three traps next to each other as we watch another trap get sprung here by this balloon. Now you're in big trouble. You've got six skeletons coming out after this balloon. Three skeleton traps set closely together are going to behave just like a little mini clan castle. And here you can see those skeletons behave like clan castle troops as well. Once they're activated, they're going to lie in wait. The next unit that's deployed on the battlefield, they're going to chase it down and attack it until it is gone. Now I love the graphic detail and the animation of these units, but more importantly I'm excited about the wrinkle and strategy that they are going to add, both on offense and defense. I'm sure we'll be talking a lot about these guys in the days to come. Can't wait to see them in action in an actual live battle. And it's also important to remember, even though they are being released with this Halloween update, they are permanent. Skeleton traps are here to stay. As we take a look at my redesigned village, I may end up using this post-update setup here. I've left a lot of little one-by-one -one spaces where maybe a skeleton trap or even three can sit side by side. It's going to be a lot of fun to see them spring into action and hopefully win some more defenses. Now before we go, let me talk a little bit about the forum exclusive sneak peek, and that is the updated player profile. This is going to make recruiting new players much easier. You'll be able to see with one quick glance every troop that's been unlocked, what level it is, the same for spells and heroes, right there on the player profile page. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this new Halloween update. Can't wait to see it in action. Please do check out my other videos, like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks.